project that helps us, you know, get it actually started. It's a it's a collaboration project, but you know, because of their uh, you know generosity, I was able to you know take time away from installing other stuff for not OpenStack stuff to actually work on just this community. So they were they were big uh, you know a big uh, motivator behind you know the project itself uh, because before. I was helping lots of people do OpenStack, but nobody was talking to each other. And that's kind of what we're doing here with, with Chef for OpenStack. Uh, Rackspace, their Alamo project, um, it's going well, check it out. It's you know a bootable uh, USB stick or ISO to see how OpenStack you know, looks. Peel away the covers, it's almost the same code. You know, um, we're sharing a lot of that code. Uh, the Rackspace guys all got to go to a football game tonight, so they're not here. Um, but, <laughs> well, sorry. Sorry, you two. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of your team, they left. <laughs> <laughs> but most of the other people up here are uh, uh, actively engaged uh, and, and, and working on, on stuff um, as well. So uh, what, we, what I'd kind of hope to talk about is, you know, here's what we got. Um, SX is working, KVM, Ubuntu, uh, LXC, some uh, Calzada guys are over in the bare metal deployment talk, um, but they've got LXC working with these cookbooks because, you know, uh, they're running on ARM CPUs. Um, Swift, you know, Dell has some, some cookbooks, uh, Rackspace has some cookbooks, DreamHost does not have Swift cookbooks, um, but, you know, uh, I have not taken those and, you know, cleaned them up to make them uh, more accessible from, from Rackspace, and I'm not sure, do people want SX Swift or should we just go to Fulton? Because this is a conversation, you know, feel free to say like, Essex, Folsom, <laughs> Folsom it is. <laughs> um, so, Okay, yeah, yeah. So the, the point made by Dell, um, by the gentleman from Dell, uh, was that Folsom was easy to use because a few small tweaks and it just worked. And uh, I was talking with Rackspace earlier about uh, their Folsom, you know, their work for Folsom. They said, yeah, they took the Alamo stuff, changed a few URLs, uh, fixed a bug in Horizon, and it works. So uh, that is... Yes, we're not doing upgrades. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Okay, but I mean, the the the, the point is, we won't be starting from scratch. You know, there are already there are already definitely Swift cookbooks that exist. And uh, you know, we will be leveraging them shortly. It's just, you know, uh, sorry, Swift guys, Nova's a little more glamorous, and so it's gotten more attention uh, lately. Um, but these are the things that are, are on the roadmap uh, for the project. Uh, documentation, um, I've been pulling the readmes and various little bits of documentation that are sprinkled throughout all the cookbooks and projects and everything, and pulling them into uh, Chef, uh, OpenStack Chef docs and converting things to Sphinx and uh, restructured text so we can make PDFs and multi-page HTML things and it's very, uh, you know, shiny and you can make EPUBs and real documentation and at some point possibly uh, moving some of that documentation to docs.openstack.org. Uh, um, I put it under the same license so it'll just move right on over and they're using restructured text but they're using Docsif but whatever. I'll talk to Ann General about that. Um, that documentation is up. I've been pushing to it furiously like the last three or four days. Uh, hypervisors, you know, uh, KVM and LXC today. Does this somebody want something different? You know, if you want something different and you show up with patches, uh, we will try to make that work. I know that the uh, um, smokestack stuff runs on top of Zen, uh, but that's the only place I've really seen somebody running uh, chef with Zen. Uh, so if you want Zen, show up. You're going to be the supporter. Um, 
the funny thing about all this code is, of course, it's community driven. I'm, I'm the one guy from Ops Code, and you know, there's like 10 guys at DreamHost, and 10 guys at Dell, and 10 guys at ten, whatever. Yo. <coughs> An order of magnitude more than one. <laughs> um, there's more than me. And uh, so the way this project works is if you want a feature and you show up with the feature, it's in the project, as long as it doesn't break other people's stuff. Um, and so, uh, you know, Rackspace is working on RHEL 6 support right now. Uh, I've been asked about that several times. I've been asked about Postgres. Um, okay, I will introduce you to someone else in the back who's making fist pumps in the air about Postgres. And uh, yeah, so, so Postgres, uh, we can just start that up in the Folsom branch um, and, and start changing the way that the roles are laid out uh, instead of, uh, searching for like the MySQL master role, we'll start looking for the database master. And uh, which brings me back to some patches that I haven't merged yet from AT&T about uh, not using roles for search. Um, they want to go back to using attributes. And I'm cool with that because it doesn't break other people's stuff. So uh, yeah, uh, RHEL, Ubuntu. If anybody wants Debian, I would love to have support for that. Um, but Sles, I would love Sles support. If you know, if the if the SUSE guys show up and they want Sles to work and it doesn't break everything else, I want it to work. I mean, you know, there are people who are asking for all, every sort of permutation under the sky, and it's Apache. You know, let's do it. Uh, is Is that a question or a fist pump? So it, for anyone who doesn't know, next week is the Chef Developer Summit in Seattle. So uh, that's a bar camp type thing of chef developers. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, there will definitely be, we will definitely use that as, as a reference. Um, okay. Fred. We went Barney to, or not, Betty. Betty to Fred. Fred to Betty? I thought Betty was Ethel. Gender bending. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's people introducing people. Um, the, the the fist pumper in the back. Um, uh, <laughs> do you, do you want to say who you work for? Or, I mean. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, there's, there's Postgres support in the, uh, the, the Crowbar uh, cookbooks and the Smokestack cookbooks, and it shouldn't be hard. And we'll make corrections in the, uh, the various logic to move away from spe specifying your database in the names of the roles. Instead of saying MySQL master, we'll go to database master. Instead of uh, RabbitMQ master, I think is what it currently is, I want to move that to uh, messaging master because there's been talk about bringing in either active or zero um, MQ. Yeah, yeah Cupid too. I mean, we want to generalize it so we don't have to care. Yeah, 
yeah, I mean, I know it's there. I just, we need to clean it out of our current mode. Uh, well, we, yeah. You show up in IRC and we'll talk about it. Oh, I, I just mean instead of searching for the MySQL master role, we come up with a, you know, the database master role that, you know, under the covers and attribute has set it to Postgres. Yes, yes. No, no. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Um, so let's talk about uh, upstreaming cookbooks. Um, you know, there is, uh, I, I was pointing out how many other people there are besides me. And, you know, so a lot of the work I do is really just picking from other people's branches and merging them into the chef for open stack and then other people are like oh yeah that's cool and then you know they go off and then they come back with like six months of patches and uh, you know so I'm outnumbered but uh, if uh, if you want to be like the owner of some feature if you're like you know I don't like calling it MySQL master I want to be the guy who owns the database you know the database stuff I would love to give that to you and if you want to be you know the people who are like hey, we want to make sure Seth works for everybody besides just DreamHost, you know, I'd love for you to do that. Um, there are some folks who are working on getting CI set up on top of this. Uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, uh, Bare Metal Cloud has given me, um, you know, they're like, you can have as many nodes as you want. I was like, cha-ching. So uh, I will probably set up a lot of Swift stuff on when I start testing with, you know, I've got four boxes in my lab, so. When I start testing at, at volume, I'll probably go in there unless somebody else is like, hey, Matt, let me send you some hardware. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and so, you know, uh, if, if there are people who want to step in on things, you know, it is, it, it works today. Essex works, you know, we'll probably break it a little bit for Folsom, but you can always go back to Essex and it works. Uh, and then we'll start working on supporting more complex deployments. Right now it supports what Rackspace Alamo supports, which is all in one or n plus one, and where, or one plus n, where you have one controller and n compute nodes, which, you know, that doesn't scale past like 20 or 30. Yeah, yeah, so if you look in the uh, OpenStack Chef repo, I've got a file in there called todo.org. It's my uh, Emacs org mode that just, it's a backlog of like wish list things that it would be nice to clean up. I think it's like number two is, is make sure that every service safely runs on other boxes. And with my four boxes, it was like, I'll put MySQL over here and then we'll run the other stuff here. Okay, that worked. You know, and cycle, repeat, and it's kind of slow. Uh, but yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll get the we'll get that uh, merged out. I expect Folsom work will probably start like I'll start actually get back to my office in about two weeks, and we'll start putting Folsom out uh, from you know the main line. If you want somebody else's branch, Rackspace said it works for them. DreamHost says it works for them. Um, you know, Dell has has cookbooks that work. Uh, there are other private or there are other repos that are not advertised that are publicly accessible that have Folsom working as well. I'm not going to say their names because they might get sued. But uh, so yeah, there's definitely Folsom work that's already done uh, that you can jump on if you're in a hurry. Um, if you're you know slow and plotting and methodical like me, uh, it'll be at least three weeks. Um, but you know the nice thing is I'm I'm actually writing more documentation than coding at this point, which is where I wanted to be. Okay, well, you can, um, the repos don't have to be named the same thing. Or, or, or product dash cookbook.
so, so, um, so move things like Nova to Nova Cookbook. Well, so I mean, the, the the Nova currently is is over in you know GitHub opcode dash cookbook slash Nova. I mean that's pretty descriptive, but when you fork it into your repo, it's like now I have two Novas. Right. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you have to rename it, but you you can rename it, and then when you bring it into your cookbooks directory, you can rename it again. Right. But I mean, that's, that's how I got around it for, I, I'm doing it with something already myself, but, but do people want me to rename the repos? I, I don't think there are that many followers where it'll you know, rock their world too much. Well, I mean, that's a GitHub problem. It's, I mean, it is, it is a problem for, for Joshua Temmerman, who's our community guy who does most of the cookbook management but not this cookbook management. It's, it's a GitHub issue, really. Um, I'm happy to rename them. I'll, I don't think there are that many. If, if you're following the cookbooks, I will go rename them, and, you know, and I'll, send, I'll find all the followers and send them an email that says, yo, I changed the name of the repo that you were using as you know, a remote. GitHub's just adding this layer of magic on top of Git. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, as far as, you know, that's the basics of Folsom. Um, when we start diving into the new pieces, uh, HA uh, configuration, uh, Florian Haas has a talk tomorrow about, you know, HA for OpenStack. I believe that is the documented way to do HA with OpenStack. Um, it's not official, it's not required. But it's a uh, pacemaker with uh, Go Galera for MySQL and, uh, you know, boo, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. That is Finnish? No. Huh? Yeah, yeah, the pacemaker stuff, I... I Started a, a uh, bar clamp for for crowbar, and it sets up the services, but it doesn't manage any of them. So it, it pacemaker gets ready, and then it's like then I ran into the problem like, oh wait, you know every service inside a chef is thinking it's going to be able to restart services when pacemaker's one is going to be managing it, and so they're going to conflict. And then I just was like, I'm busy, you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, really, I, I got busy with something else, and so people who ask me, hey, is there a pacemaker cookbook? I'm like, it's half done. You know, it, it pacemaker's up and running. <laughs> what more do you need? <laughs> mine, e mine enables it and, and sets up, like, the, the masters and slaves, and they all know about each other, but none of the services are managed. Because then it's... Yeah, it, it is really insane because I, I started thinking, well, do I need to monkey patch something or, you know, uh, do I need to, you know, extend the chef uh, base service to, not, to be a no-op and, you know. So th there's an alternate HA implementation that uh, uh, one of the gentlemen from Cloud Scaling stopped by, I don't see if you're here. Uh, he's got a talk, uh, I think Wednesday, about you know how they do HA uh, that would not be using Pacemaker, that uses uh, like um, BGP routing, and uh, and he said they're thinking about open sourcing those cookbooks. Um, so maybe we look at that. I don't know. You know, it or we can you know have a I can sit down and, and you know try to stick somebody who knows you know chef a lot better than I do on pacemaker itself. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, Carl wears all those hats. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know what the right answer is for HA, um, but it is something we could you know, start taking a stab at. Uh, so yeah, that's officially supportable with Fulton. Right, right. It's a good topic for the mailing list. <laughs> or the summit, yeah. All right, so now we've got two talks for the summit. We've got another you know, general open stack one, and we have a, you know, can we do pacemaker services? Uh, as well as, you know, Galera is not, you know, that exciting, and, and RabbitMQ clustering is, you know, uh, no, no, it has its own clustering stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or not use Rabbit, and then, you know, something else. But, but it's not DRBD, so it's not HA pairs. It's, you know, an HA bigger than, than pairs. Yeah. Uh, quantum. So, quantum. Who's got quantum running? Okay, what are you running? So we are going to try and run some CPU for that pair. Okay. But we will get to the address of the HA that we want to run it on. Okay. So if I had I would have I would have had the pair if we had the pair on the HA address that we want to run it on, but I don't think I would have the pair on the HA address that we want to run it on. There you go. So for the record, I'm looking at the video camera here. <laughs> Carl Perry from DreamHost. Uh, <laughs> we'll make sure that we get some, uh, you know, some some working uh, quantum cookbooks uh, out there. Uh, I believe last time I talked with Rackspace about it, they were going to stick with Nova Network until they had a customer who had a real use for quantum. Sounds like we have a real use for quantum here. Somebody using it in Angular. Uh, there is, uh, there are other implementations out there that are not Nicira. Uh, and not uh, OBF, and, and we'll be working uh, with those as well. Um, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's how it should be. Um, and w using that same pattern, uh, I plan on applying that to the database as well as to the hypervisor. Uh, the hypervisor currently just is like, you know, I'm going to do libvirt and KVM and it's all mixed in with Nova and we're pulling that out, you know, so you can say, here's an attribute, what are we going to do? KVM, LXC, you know, bare metal someday maybe, I don't know. Um, Do we need do we need to continue supporting Nova networking? I I mean I know you have opinions, but <laughs> Right. Yeah, well that's all we have support for. Firemate work. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, more just for the mailing list. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, we will continue to support Nova Network at least through Grizzly. Because that's as long as it's supposed to last, right? I, well, I, I thought it was being dropped after for I Grizzly. Think, I think that's still <laughs> There's some, some other session will probably answer that for us. Right. Um, sender. Uh, okay. Um, I know uh, Rackspace is. Rackspace is using Nova Volume. And you guys had a, somebody told me they had patches to remove it. <laughs> uh, to make sure it, it you know, did not blow up. Because right now it, 
if, if it's miscon it, in my setup, it just stack traces out. Um, I don't care because I'm not using it. But uh, you guys are using it, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Someday. Well, so so I I'm I'm not like you know just farming out all the work. I'm actually going to be doing uh, professional services for uh, a customer on Folsom Cookbooks, and we'll be open sourcing it. So maybe I'll be member of audience or sender. Sorry. I'm not going to own it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, does anybody want Salometer? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, I do know that there's another Salometer cookbook, at least in the works. Do you have one? I thought I saw you say you were writing one. No? All right, never mind. Uh, I'll get back to you on that. Uh, you know, uh, And I, and I expect there are other people uh, who are interested and will be working on it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you walk across the hall. You yeah. guys do it. Is there, are there any other projects that should be on our radar for Folsom? Is, is there like somebody who wants us to do, I don't know, um, Colony or, or something like that? Or I just saw that. I thought that was a neat project. It, you know, the, the Glacier uh, thing. Um, yes, no. Well, I mean, it, it's really, if you want heat, you know, bring it. <laughs> because... I, I don't really, I mean, I'm not a, you know, I don't see a lot of it in my day-to-day, -day, so it doesn't, see, I mean, uh, I don't see a lot of cloud formation myself, and I see a lot of AWS, so I don't, it's not motivating me. Uh, but if there are people who want it, we want to support it. You know, it's, you know, just because I don't like it, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's a community effort here. Um, and, you know, we'll have a flag that says heat, yes. Uh, so other projects are kind of uh, building off of this ecosystem. Um, you know, the nice thing is, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm the author of Spice Weasel. It, uh, it's picked up a lot of traction because of this, because I was using it. Um, I switched to using Librarian. Uh, if, if you're not familiar with Librarian, it is a tool for managing your cookbooks. Uh, Spice Weasel also manages your cookbooks, but it do doesn't know anything about Git. Uh, librarian does, and so I had to switch over to something that was Git. I will be happy to add support for Whisk. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, duly noted, the, the gentleman in the back who's an author of a competing tool. Um, uh, I don't care. I mean, if, if, if you want to take the librarian stuff and show me it working with Whisk and it just works, yeah, I, I mean, we're not strongly attached to librarian. It just, um, it works for our use case of, yeah, yeah. And, and I switched librarian from Spice Weasel because Spice Weasel knows about the community site, but not everything was up there yet. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, and librarian, I'm able to track my forks and, and give it branches and tags, and that's, as far as I know, all I wanted. Um, but I did not want Git submodules. So if somebody says, how come you're not using Git submodules? And it's just like, there you go. Uh, duly noted, the man from, from Dell, uh, for the record. <laughs> I said, you know, and you guys were the ones who encouraged me to do it, but it was, I came to that realization a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, we don't use Git submodules because they're, I mean, that's like, you know, advanced Git foo, and I'm trying to make this accessible to everyone, uh, which is why we're using tools like Spice Weasel and Librarian as saying, you know, 
just run this command and all your stuff shows up in the right place. Uh, if we want to make it work with Whisk or Burke Show, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's it, once once it's in place, it's easy to keep them in sync. It's like I replaced the one here with the two, four files. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, what Spice Weasel gives us is it also manages the roles, environments, data bags, and you know pushes those up too. Uh, but I've been meaning to you know, either have Spice Weasel understand those other tools or take the patches from Spice Weasel and push them into the other tools. I don't care. You know. uh, Pixie Dust, if you do not have a solution for provisioning your hardware, who's written their own? <laughs> yeah, so as provisioning your hardware is like, you're going to have to do it. That's not a chef thing. You, know, uh, you can use a nice tool like Crowbar, a nice tool like Morphology, a nice tool like Cobbler. Uh, or you can write your own. Um, Pixie Dust is a very minimalist, uh, Pixie booting, TFTP, OS installation. It uh, does Ubuntu 1204 or Debian 605 uh, off of Preseed. That's all it does. And puts Chef on the box. Um, so uh, you will need to solve that problem. That is not in the umbrella of Chef or OpenStack. You know, you need to have boxes with Chef on them. Uh, and, you know, there's Crowbar, uh, which is kind of parallel to a lot of this as well. Uh, and so these are projects that have a halo effect. You know, some of the work that they do comes back into Chef for OpenStack. Some of the work that Chef for OpenStack does goes into things like making the rabbit into your cookbook suck less, or, you know, the database cookbook. Yeah, I mean, all the cookbooks are getting benefits from this. Um, and I guess I need to add a bullet point for when I give this talk tomorrow more formally. Uh, you know, Test Kitchen. Test Kitchen is something we open sourced about six or seven weeks ago, it's a test framework uh, from ops code, it's all open source, that will uh, run, you use it to, to d run tests against your cookbooks. So it runs min test, chef spec, cucumber, uh, food critic, you know, but it runs them against Vagrant, uh, which is, you know, it's great if you're running a Mac, um, but, you know, some of us aren't, uh, I am, but uh, there is an OpenStack provider, uh, it's like Ticket, Test Kitchen 5 or something like that. Okay, yeah, well, uh, sorry. I, Vagrant does work with Linux as well. Um, I always just see people complain about it crashing their Mac. Uh, Mitchell? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes. So, so um, uh, Mitchell Hashimoto, uh, the guy uh, who's you know, behind Vagrant Up, um, he sponsored by VMware to, to make it work with Fusion <laughs> because, you know, they don't want people just using uh, uh, VirtualBox. Um, yes, yeah, I, that, that's actually why I don't use Vagrant as I use Fusion. But uh, the point is, Vagrant's gonna take a while to get to, you know, more backends. Um, and Test Kitchen is, we want it to run against OpenStack. So there is a, a uh, an OpenStack provider, so you, you know, you'll be able to, uh, the way, if you're unaware of Test Kitchen, um, it says, you know, hey, here's the cookbooks I want to test, here are all the cookbooks I want to test, here are the operating systems I want to test, you know, and so it will, you know, do, you know, Ubuntu 10.04, 11.04, you know, 12.04, Debian, you know, 32-bit, 64-bit, Windows, whatever, and it runs them serially, you know, VirtualBox, uh, I mean, Vagrant, bring it up, run the test, bring it down. Bring it up, bring it down. Uh, it's a patch set. I don't think it sends to it. Yeah. Uh, and so rather than use Vagrant, we could use OpenStack, and we could probably do it parallel, and it would be a lot faster. Um, yeah. And we use, you know, Ops Code's plan for Test Kitchen is we're going to run all of the community cookbooks with, with Test Kitchen. And we have a big rack of, of OpenStack gear that we have, and we're going to make it all work on that eventually. So we'll probably talk about that next week, yeah, uh, at, at the summit. But, you know, Test Kitchen's all open source. You can use it today. It does not have to be running tests for Chef. It's just a test running framework um, that currently uses Vagrant, but if we could get it to OpenStack, then it has all sorts of other useful features. So once you stand up your OpenStack cloud, you could use it to test your company's applications. So, um, that is probably enough talking for today.
Uh, is there anything somebody wants me to talk about in addition that I might have passed over? You're like, why didn't he talk about? Yes. So yeah, the CLA question. Um, I have been asking people to to fill out the CLA because this is an uh, we you know ops code asks people to fill out a Apache license CLA to ensure that you are giving code freely. You know we don't want to get into the Novell you know or is it Novell? Not Novell. Uh, Sco Sco versus Novell versus IBM. Drag it on. I mean it's it's the Apache CLA. Yeah, exactly. I mean, chances are very minimal that someone will be like, oh, you took my patch and now I'm going to sue you. But we do it. You know, so yes, this is an op this is a ops code sponsored project. We do try to get the CLA out of everyone who's contributed. Rackspace has done it. Dell's done it. Uh, and DreamHost has done it. Uh, HP's done it. Um, SUSE has done it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we're, and, and we're, we'll talk about it at the summit some more next week about what can we can do to make the CLA even better. Um, if you have an existing ops code of CLA, it's already covered. You know, um, we don't make you do it like, oh, now I'm contributing to this plugin, I gotta do it again. It's like, uh, you know, you do it once, it's good. Apparently, it's not that bad. 930 people have already done it. Um, and 170 companies have done it. So, you know, hopefully your employer's on the list. We'll get you added. Uh, you know, it's Apache. We just cover our, you know, backside. Um, I'll be around. Uh, the ops code booth is out there. I've got this, a real version of this talk tomorrow for, you know, your bosses or whatever. Uh, tomorrow, 150. Uh, we have a deployment panel tomorrow. Um, party tonight, DreamHost, Mirantis. Thanks, guys. <laughs>